Shalom and welcome back. All praise to the Most High, Yahweh, by Shem Yahushai, by Shem and double honor to the apostles and others, great millstone for teaching his truth is going all around the earth. And Shalom to the hope of the elect. This is your brother Atazawam from the great millstone here in St. Louis, and we're going to jump into a quick lesson about this young woman that was a so called influencer, right, on social media. Okay, um, most high judged her, okay, all right, and uh, we always go into these types of videos just to to let the flock know that, you know, this is a very, very serious time that we're in, right, and the Lord is continuing to pile up bodies, even though you don't really see it uh, in the local news or national news to a certain degree. Um, because they they really just care about the world cares about its own right it'll cover all the different celebrities and so on all right and then sometimes if there's a real big major event such as a so-called school shooting and all these other different things you'll see that but while you see that the Lord is going about his business you know bumping people off on a daily basis Right, and the Lord doesn't care how cute you are or how old you are or whether you're a male or a female or whether you're a child. You know, we, we always reiterate that, okay, to show you that there's a we're in a serious time and this is a serious matter, okay. But that with that said, let's just jump right into this article. This is coming from uh, Passaic Press, and it reads, Hillside influencer killed in Route 17 accident identified as quote unquote Queen Damaris. All right, which is, this is the young woman right here. All right, and uh, she was a so called social media influencer. All right, but had the name of what? A <clears throat> tag name of Queen. And uh, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on that. You know, we, we've taught you about that word Queen and go back to its original meaning. All right. Um, it's not a very, uh, very good, uh, uh, how would you say, that name in and of itself is not a real good moniker, if you will, all right, for lack of a better way of saying it. But anyway, let's, let's, read, the, let's read the report here, all right, it says here, police have identified Demarius D. Martinez, a 28-year-old Hillside resident, social media influencer, influencer as the woman who was struck and killed by two vehicles. Right, while attempting to cross Route 17 in Paramus early Saturday morning, right? Life with Maris, all right, and that's her handle, I guess, on YouTube. You see, so the first question is why are you crossing a, 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 a highway, if you will, in the wee hours of the morning, okay? But anyway, let's get into the article, okay? It says here, editor's notes we have replaced. Oh, that really doesn't have anything to do with it. We don't have to, we don't have to read that. Let's just jump down here to where it says Paramus, right, which is in New Jersey. It says, police have identified Demarius D. Martinez, a 28-year-old social media influencer from Hillsdale, as the woman struck and killed by two vehicles while attempting to cross Route 17 in Paramus around 3.30 a.m. on Saturday morning, September 21st. Martinez branding herself online as Queen Damaris, right? And active uh, on platforms such as YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok was a vocal advocate for women, for women in crisis. She shared her journey of personal growth, beauty, and her Christian, as you see it, faith with a growing audience. Her content often focused on spreading kindness and uh, resilience, especially through challenging times. She was a 2015 graduate of Passaic Valley High School and spoke online about having top grades but challenging situations and fitting in from the Bronx. She decried clicks and brief, uh, brief but painful episodes of hate speech at the district, which in 2015 and 2018 drew a media spotlight, Google it, she tells her followers, all right? So that gives you a little bit of background about her. Um, so let's try to get into some of the details here. All right, here it says, uh, 
but according to Paramus Police Chief Robert uh, Gudetti, Martinez was initially struck by a white Kia driven by a 42-year-old man after crossing the northbound lanes and median of Route 17. Moments later, she was hit by a tractor trailer driven by a 65-year-old man. You see, so that's a terrible, terrible judgment. She was struck by a car, or I guess you would say maybe an SUV, I don't know, and then run over basically by a tractor trailer. All right? And and, and that's judgment from Yahweh Shem Yahweh Okay? Going on, it says authorities are continuing to investigate how Martinez came to be in the area. The Paramus Police Crash Investigation Unit and the Bergen County Sheriff's Bureau of Criminal Investigation are involved in the investigation. Police asked anyone with information about her whereabouts prior to the accident to contact, and then you see the detective's name, okay? So it goes on and says, uh, Martinez followers have been mourning her loss in the comments and on social media posts, sharing memories of her positivity and dedication to her faith and so on. Yeah, but anyway, this is her, all right? And, um, you know, this whole social media craze thing has, has really twisted some of the minds of the people out there, okay? And they do things for fame and popularity, right, to get likes, to get subscribers, and to, um, you know, make themselves popular and, and earn money, all right, through these various different social media sites, okay? But the question comes up, as it did in this investigation, what in the world are you doing out at 3.30 in the morning by yourself, crossing a busy highway? All right? Only one can wonder, you see. Ecclesiasticus 26 and 9 says, The whoredom of a woman may be known in her haughty looks and eyelids, all right? And just a whorous woman. Okay, if I can get back to it, I don't know if it'll let me go back. There was another, yeah, here, this photo that, that tells her story as well. And it had some photos of her, see here, all glammed up, okay? All right, and this is what these young women do, you know, for attention, okay? And you can see the, the eyelids, right? It really it just spells trouble. Now, whoredom don't necessarily mean for her she was selling herself, but actually, you're not to one man. You're not a. You're not acting in the category of a wife, right? Being at home where you're supposed to be, okay? Not out at three thirty in the morning, especially by yourself. Okay, because even the police detectives haven't discovered why she was out there by herself, all right? That doesn't look right. But we'll see as the story unfolds, all right? All right, this is Proverbs 16 and 18. We won't be long with this. Pride goeth before destruction and haughty spirit before fall, you see? And when you have that haughty spirit, you know, that that attitude of, you know, I'm the shit, that will get you in trouble every time. Let's just be point blank. All right, 1 Timothy 5 and 6, but she that liveth in pleasure is dead while she liveth. You know, many of these women are infatuated, right, with being known, with being popular, right? Okay. And it and it leads to it leads to bad things, all right. Now, I got here because <clears throat> there's an old saying, right, that says, "What the world is your oyster," right? And that's what many of the young people think that they could go out here and just do whatever they want, okay? And that there are no repercussions for the way that you conduct yourself. All right, so let's look at the quote here. It says, the proverb, which is not a proverb, all right? That's just Esau throwing that shit in there. Proverb first appeared in Shakespeare's play, 
the Merry Wives of Windsor, published in 1602. Uh, it says, I will not lend thee a penny, to which Pistol replied, Why then the world's mine oyster, which I wish, which, which I was swore it would open, right? So, <clears throat> you know, with an oyster or clam or whatever, you know, you got to force it open with a knife. But that's just to say that you think that the world can go out, you can go out in the world and just do whatever you want, right? Um, let me see, there was another, uh, there was another definition or quote, a definition of the quote. see what this one says let's see yeah it says the phrase the world is your oyster is an idiom that means someone has many opportunities and can do anything they want see and that's what a lot of the young women believe that they can do okay that they can they can have whatever they want they can do whatever they want no man is going to rule over them okay and it's just a source uh, it, it's, it's sort of a uh, you know, it's an indicator of pride, all right, that a lot of these young women have, all right? And what they really need is a real stern man over them to keep them from doing this kind of thing, you know? But as it is, you know, the how about Shimmy Awashai is gonna have his way, all right? So she was already set up to do that. And this is why we implore you all to watch the lessons, all right, to <clears throat> listen to the brothers that are on the highways and hedges, right, to, to make sure that you turn to the Lord before it's too late, all right? This is Ecclesiasticus 5 and 7. It says, make no tarrying to turn to the Lord and put not off from day to day, for suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth, right? Like a speeding car and a speeding semi-pickup truck, uh, slocky, not pickup truck, but a semi-tractor trailer, right, that run you over, all right? Like you weren't just hit by one car, but you know, two vehicles, all right? And you can just imagine it, okay? Make no tarry in to turn to the Lord and put not off from day to day, for suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth. Yeah, without expectation, right? Without expectation, the Lord can visit you, you see? And in thy security, thou shalt be destroyed, right? She had no knowledge more than likely, right, in the mind in, or in the spirit that anything would happen to her being out there at 3.30 in the morning by herself, okay? All right? And in thy security thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. So the Lord had vengeance out for her for whatever reason, though she may, be in a, may have been a kind person on, online and talk positivity and quote-unquote share their faith as they say which goes to show you you need the Lord how about Shem Yahweh Shai alright Christianity in and of itself is a false religion alright point blank this is Zephaniah 3 and 5 but it reads the just Lord how about Shem Yahweh Shai is in the midst thereof he will not do iniquity. Every morning doeth he bring his judgment to light. Okay, and that was what? The wee hours of the morning did the Most High send the deaf angel and judge her. Okay. Now, the story isn't fully uh, investigated yet as to why she was out there that time of morning, right? But like I said, a, 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 a woman that would be a true woman to, to a man would have been at home at that time, all right? She was 28 years old, you know? You're out there on some dark highway, okay? The just Lord is in the midst thereof. He will not do iniquity. Every morning doeth he bring his judgment to light. He faileth not, but the unjust knoweth no shame, right? You know, people get themselves in certain predicaments and situations Okay, and the next thing you know, the Lord is visiting you, okay? And the next thing you know after that is that you're in the spiritual realm, you see? You see all this? All right, 
that social media stuff all together, you know, for these young women is, is a trap, right? Trying to be famous, okay? And, 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 and use fame and popularity as clout, as a currency to get the things that they want, okay? All right, with that, that'll be good enough. You know, just a, just another uh, a, another uh, young person judge by Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. All right, okay. The just Lord is in the midst thereof. Remember that. All right. Make no tarry in the turn to the Lord. With that, we're in the lesson. All praise to the Most High Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Shalom.